What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over five of the best heavy gunner weapons in all of Fallout 76. Starting off over the weapons, these are the heavy gunner weapons that we're using for the video. The first heavy gunner weapon is our three-star legendary napalmer, with the main legendary effect being the anti-armor effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has a 50% faster reload, and it also has a 25% faster fire rate. Over in the mods, we're using the napalm tank, a long barrel, large propellant tank, a compression nozzle, and the fireman paint. The next heavy gun on our list is my three-star legendary 50 cal with the main legendary effect being the anti-armor effect which is ignores 50 percent of your target's armor has a 25 percent faster fire rate and it also has a plus 250 damage resistance while reloading over in the mods we have the prime receiver heavy barrel and the gold 50 cal machine gun paint next up we have my three star legendary gatling plasma with the main legendary effect being the bloody defect which is damage increases up to 95 percent as your health decreases has a 25 percent faster fire rate and it also has a 25 percent less vats action points cost over in the mods we're using the prime receiver, rifled barrel, standard magazine, reflex sight, beam focuser, and the Valister Alistair paint. The next heavy gun on our list is one of my favorite heavy guns in all of Fallout 76. We have my 3 star legendary gauss minigun, with the main legendary effect being the executioner's effect, which is a plus 50% more damage when your target's below 40% health, has a 25% faster fire rate, and it also has a plus 50 damage resistance while aiming. Over in the mods, we're using the tri-barrel, clandestine paint, tesla local capacitor, and the gunner sights. And finally, we have what I think is the most powerful single shot weapon in all of Fallout 76. We have my 3 star legendary plasma caster with the main legendary effect being the quad effect which is quadruple ammo capacity, has the vats critical hits do plus 50% of damage, and it also has a 25% less vats action points cost. Over the mods we're using the prime capacitor, aligned sniper barrel, standard sight, and the industrial paint. Now to begin our demonstrations with our all powerful heavy guns, we've made our way over to the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Bruce. And we're first gonna start off with a napalmer, then we will swap over to the other heavy guns. But to begin this, um, Brucey, I need you to come over here. Just get a little bit closer, sir, that way we can toast your legs. Look at that damage, that is absolutely insane, holy crap. Now we've made our way back to our level 100 glowing behemoth, but this time we have our 50 cal, and he is still snoozing, so we're just gonna have to wake him up real quick. There we go, fantastic, fantastic. Oh my gosh, your health is already so low, sir. Let me just finish you off real quick. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Oh, Brucey boy, we are back, but this time we have our Gatling Plasma. Would you like to feel the power of the bloody Gatling Plasma? Let me just shoot your legs real quick. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Don't you be running this way, sir. You need to calm down, relax, stay over there, please and thank you. Let me shoot you in the face and maybe, hopefully, there we go. And now our behemoth is... Let me just wait just a second, wait just a second. Wait just a second, wait just a second is no more. Now we're making our way back to our glowing behemoth, but this time we have our Gauss minigun. And what I'm gonna do is shoot him a couple times in the legs, then we're gonna completely unload on him. So here we go, let me just... Fantastic, fantastic. Not bad at all. Oh, sir, do not throw your rocks over here, please and thank you. That is uncalled for. Now that he's limping though, let me just reload. I don't know why I'm reloading, but we did reload, and now we have 625 ammo capacity to destroy his face. So, uh, goodbye behemoth. There we go, fantastic, and he could not withstand the power of our Gauss minigun. Making our way back to our level 100 behemoth, but this time we have the all-powerful Plasma Caster. And what I'm going to do is shoot him outside of Vats a couple times. 389, 443, uh, 443, another 443. Now we're going to lock onto his face inside of Vats. We got 881. Uh, don't know what that was. 881. And... Another 881. Oh god, sir, 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 relax, calm down. And to finish him off, we have another 881. Our next wasteland monstrosity on the list to fill the wrath of our heavy guns is Z1. The only, the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. And we're first gonna start off with the flamer, then we will swap over to our other heavy guns. But what I'm gonna do is just rush her and start flaming her legs. There we go, fantastic, fantastic. What about in vats? What about in vats, eh? You like those vats attacks? Okay, apparently not. All right, we're just gonna keep toasting your legs. There we go. Look how fast we just destroyed her with a flamer. Now we've made our way back to our Myler Queen, but this time we have our 50 cal, and we're gonna start again by shooting her in the legs. There we go, fantastic, fantastic. Absolutely draining her health. Now those face shots, of course, we're gonna get the most amount of damage, so. Here we go, if you see those yellow numbers, it means we're hitting them in their weak spot. There we go, fantastic. And just like that, that Myler Queen is no more. Oh, Mrs. Krabs, we've made our way back, but this time we have the Gatling Plasma. Do you want to feel the wrath of the Gatling Plasma to the legs? Of course you do. There we go, there we go. 
and look at that damage. That is shredding straight through this Myler Queen. Holy crap. Now we've made our way back to Mrs. Krabs, but this time we have our all-powerful Gauss minigun, and we're gonna start by blasting her in the legs. There we go, fantastic, fantastic. Look at the health just drain, holy crap, especially when she gets low health, it just shot down, oh my god. And guys, get off me, get off me, we're not here for you, we're only here for the queen. Please and thank you, goodbye now. Now we finally made our way to the Myler Queen with the Plasma Caster. What I'm gonna do is lock onto her face this time, and uh, hopefully we can kill her pretty fast. There we go, we got a 1,070 directly to our face, a 410, another 410, 410, give me another Vats Critical, a 410, here we go with the Vats Critical, 1,122, alright, we got another 410, oh crap, she's coming this way, we just gotta be careful, we got 103, 103, 410, 410, 410, 103, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, get back, <laughs> now she can't necessarily kill me, however, she can beat the crap out of me and shoot me with poison, which is kind of rough, I'm not gonna lie, oh god, just get away from me, Get away from me, you stupid Myler Queen. Let me blast you in the face. Okay, there goes all my AP. Let me just continue to shoot you then. All right, chill out. Just relax. Just take these bullets. Please and thank you. Fantastic. Just a couple more shots, and you are no more. Back over at the weapons, and as you can see, they are all absolutely amazing to use. And it does not matter what legendary effect you have. As long as you have some pretty good ones, you'll be good to go. But my favorite heavy gun out of all of them is the Plasma Caster. Not only can you use it with power armor, but it's amazing without power armor also. However, you can use whichever heavy gun you like. Over in the build, these are the base stats that make up our in-game heavy gunner build that we use for this video. So if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our in-game heavy gunner build. Starting off in strength, we have 15 and this one can have traveling pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims including stim packs are reduced by 90%. We have have all the heavy gunner cards maxed out to get the maximum damage out of these weapons. We have blocker at 3 star. Take 45% to less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 3, and this one can have concentrate fire at 1 star. Vats now targets limbs. Focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot. We have glow sight at 2 stars. Deal plus 40% to damage to glowing enemies. Over in endurance, we have 11, and this one can have life giver at 1 star. Gain a total plus 15 to your maximum health. We have kin fiend at 3 stars. Any kims you take lasts 100% longer, and we did take overdrive and psycho buffs in this video. We have Fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical at 1 star. The greater the rads, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. We have Rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Filled Surgeon at 1 star. Stim Packs and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers at 1 star. Positive Mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 15, and this one can have Nerd Rage at 3 stars. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. We have Power User at 1 star. Fusion Cores now last 30% longer. We have Stabilized at 3 stars. In Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. We have Batteries included at 3 stars. Energy Weapon Ammo weighs 90% less. We have Demolition Expert at 5 stars. Your Explosives do plus 60% to damage. Over in Agility, we have 11, and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action Points are generate 45% faster. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy at 3 stars. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in Luck, we have 15 and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red paste. We have Better Criticals at 1 star. Vats Criticals now do plus 50% of damage. We have One Gun Army at 3 stars. Heavy Guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple limb. We have Ricochet at 3 stars. Stars. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemy's range damage, no PvP. We have Class Freak at 3 stars. The negative effects from mutations are reduced by 75%. And we have Starch Genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from rats, and Radway will never cure your mutations. Over in the Legendary Perk cards, these are the Legendary Perk cards that help make up our in-game heavy gunner build. Starting off in Strength, we have that card maxed out. We have Endurance maxed out, Intelligence maxed out, Luck maxed out, Electric Absorption at 1 star, and Power Sprinter at 1 star. These are the Legendary Perk cards. Now let's get to my arm armor buffs and mutations. Over the armor, what we're using is my full set of T65 Overeaters Power Armor, and the reason we go with the Overeaters is because it says, increases damage reduction up to 6% as you fill your hunger and thirst meters, and if you eat a perfect bubblegum, your hunger and thirst meters will be filled for a full hour. Over the mutations, these are all the mutations that we use for the build. We have Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Skull Skin, and Speed Demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using Mute Fruit Juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, Simple Firm Flower Tea to get a plus 2 to our 
our strength. Potato juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP. Blight soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage. Carrot soup to get a plus 4 to perception. And of course, a perfect bubblegum. That way, our hunger and thirst mirrors do not increase. Over in the Kim buffs, we took overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage. And we took psycho buffs to get a plus 29 to our max HP. A 1.35 to our endurance. A 1.35 to our strength. And a plus 11% to our damage. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video for some of the brand new items coming to Fallout 76 in the 2023 year. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is my new items video.